Okay, here we are back with our uh, ceiling uh, diffuser. And in an earlier video, I talked to you about heat and where you should position diffusers for heat applications, and it was the floor. And we kind of figured, well, we're, we're fighting the cold air that's running down the wall with the floor diffuser, and it is better. It eliminates a lot of the uh, uh, cold air coming in through the windows, which of course the windows are the largest heat loss. But when we're cooling, we get a different issue. Now this diffuser is next to a window. Yes, it is snowing outside, so I'm not cooling. But that's the place it should be However, the ceiling is best because of a couple of things, and they're very similar to the things we talked about for heat. Now, the air coming out of this thing is going to naturally go down. Just like it went up with heat, it's going to go down with cooling because it's more dense than the rest of the air in the structure. So as it goes down, it's going to meet heat coming up. Because the heat coming through this window, now we're not talking about radiant heat through the window, we're talking about convected heat through the glass itself. But as that uh, heat comes through, it's going to tend to start going up. And it's going to go up to the area of the diffuser, and of course if the diffuser is blowing down, it's going to uh, counteract that warm air coming up. So it's going to drift down like this and it's going to tend, it's going to warm as it goes down, but it's going to tend to go down towards the floor stopping probably around the three foot mark and is most effective against cooling. Now there's other things that are involved with cooling too. An awful lot of the heat that you get from cooling is from uh, radiant heat. So if the sun is shining through this window, it is going to heat the walls behind or whatever it hits. That's a little different ball game and you can't really do much about that with the position of the diffusers. But you can for the convected heat. So just kind of summarize Cool air is coming off of here, meeting hot air, mixing with the hot air and diluting it, and continuing down, probably down to about that three foot level. That's how you want it to work. In the next one, we're going to talk about the floor diffuser when it's used for cooling.